Welcome back, Seth Bling here. And today's command block creation is, of course, a swing set in Minecraft. So let me just right click on the swing here to get in. You'll notice the swing starts swinging. Uh, it's just doing a little, little swing. If we want to make it swing higher, what we can do is we can actually behave as if we were on an actual swing set. So if I look up while I'm going forwards and I look down while I'm going away, you'll start to notice that the uh, amplitude of the swing actually increases. If we can get that to work. And I can go higher and higher. I can't, of course, go all the way around because that's that wouldn't be realistic. And above all, I'm striving for realism here, so that wouldn't be realistic. So, so the maximum the maximum swing you can do is is basically 90 degrees out from the sort of the center point of the swing. Of course, there's no actual like ropes rendered on this swing, but if you could imagine them, 90 degrees is the highest you could do. Anyway, uh, and then if I get off of the swing. You can see it kind of swings slowly to a natural stop on its own and it's ready to go again and we can just get back in. And so this uses an actually pretty realistic model, not not like 100% realistic physics model, but pretty realistic physics model to accomplish this. And so for instance, once you do get a high swing going, uh, I think we've already maxed out the swing, uh, you can actually decrease the amplitude of the swing by doing the opposite of what you would do to swing higher. So if I think if I look down while I'm going forwards and forwards while I'm going backwards, I think that will, yeah, it looks like that is working. That'll actually decrease the amplitude of the swing and we can make it gentler to get to get off of the swing. And this one actually works um, going forwards too. So, uh, or sorry, going the other direction. This is a maneuver, of course, that'd be pretty hard to actually do on a real swing. Just, just turn around in the swing. I mean, it's, you know, you can stand up and turn around, but anyway, something that I, yeah, something I did, and we can get swinging in the other direction by doing the same thing. If I go into F5 mode, you'll notice there are some things that are a little silly looking. Um, I, <laughs> I'm not actually sitting on the seat of the swing, and it's not like my feet are actually swinging forward or anything. But so it doesn't quite, from third person perspective, it doesn't look perfect or anything. But it looks pretty cool still. And let's get out of five mode and it'll come to its a stop on its own. So let's take a look at the physics model real quick. There's not too much to it. There's basically an angle and a velocity. Uh, so let's see, angle. So this thing has an angle of just about zero. If I get on it, you'll notice the angle starts to go between about negative 200 and positive 200. And it's negative 200 when I'm forward this way and positive 200 when I'm forward that way. And the angle is controlling the angle of Let's take a look, game mode three. It's a pig <laughs> named Dinnerbone, which when a mob is named Dinnerbone, it makes it render upside down. And so that makes that saddle render upside down. So it looks more like a swing set than if the saddle was right side up. And so this angle is basically controlling where the pig is teleported to every tick. And so there's sort of a, an arc of, of manual positions that I had to input for where the pig can be teleported to based on its angle. And you'll notice as I swing, that angle goes higher. So it was negative 200 to positive 200 before. The maximum swing is 90 degrees, which is negative 900 to positive 900. So yeah, you can see, I think there for a moment it got up to 900. So that's sort of the maximum swing. It caps out after that so that you don't get too high. And also because the command blocks only know where to teleport the pig if you're going between angles of negative 90 degrees and positive 90 degrees. So that's pretty much how the angle works. And then there's also a velocity thing. And you'll notice as I'm going forward, the velocity is negative. As I'm going backwards, the velocity is positive. So I guess maybe this is a better way to look because the velocity is positive as I'm going forwards and negative as I'm going backwards. And, and as I have a bigger swing, the velocity takes on larger values because you're going faster at the, basically at the very bottom is when you're going your fastest. And so it'll take on larger values. And yeah, um, and, and so there's kind of acceleration from gravity and then there's acceleration from the player based on which direction they're looking. And that's what controls the velocity. And of course the velocity controls the angle. And that's pretty much how it works. Uh, there's no download for this one because it's kind of, it'd be too hard to, make it something that was portable so that you could set up your own. So there's no download for this one, but you can pretty much understand how it works from what I've done here, I think, and from how, how I've explained it, hopefully. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching.